everybody. Uh, we're back for week three to talk about programming during the uh, CrossFit Open and talk about all things. First thing I want to say is we haven't had any questions yet. So if you're listening, viewing in, or if you watch this after the fact, um, throw out some questions uh, specifically to Coach Anna because she'll be able to answer those. Uh, Try my best. Yeah, to get those rock and roll. So kick things off. So 20.2, what do we have? I already forget. Ooh, it was a doozy. 20 minute AMRAP of four toes to bar or four thrusters, six toes to bar and 24 double unders. Um, I heard from a lot of people. It was a little bit uh, monotonous, um, but definitely also a really big push to just keep moving with those reps being so low always able to kind of get into that next piece. So. Also, I wanted to congratulate Anna on being two for two on picking the movements, movements or at least the equipment um, on Thursday as well. Cause I know a lot of people, not a lot of people, but some people who did Thursday's workout might've been a little sore uh, for 20.2 because there's dumbbell step, step ups, ups and hang clean and, and dumbbell hang clean and jerks, which is yeah, so they yeah. had that shoulder to overhead yeah. still, as well as that step up kind of simulating the thruster. Um, so we kind of mentioned a little bit last week, but saying again this week, um, if you are planning on doing the open workouts on Friday and you really want to do well, we suggest resting on Thursday. Um, that could be going to a yoga class if you like absolutely want to keep moving. Um, sometimes I'll do like a light jog or, um, a bike ride, something like that, just to get my blood flowing. Um, but nothing that's going to risk feeling like I'm doing the same movements two days in a row. Yep. I know personally, I did the uh, salt bike 15 minute max cows that Thursday. And then did my, that hurt you yeah, my, I was shot on those squats on Friday, but I rested Thursday. Yep. Next this Thursday, I'm definitely going to rest. Um, what are we looking forward to? Um, so this week we have rowing intervals on Thursday. So um, if you are, again, kind of planning on taking that as a day to work out, um, it will be a little bit easier, I think, to say, like take it a little bit easier and just do like a casual row um, on Thursday's class. But there is some accessory work that day as well that could leave you a little sore. Um, we also have some tempo squats on Wednesday that will be with kettlebells. So um, not as likely to be very heavy, but that tempo style can leave you a little sore. Um, I will say as far as like any predictions go, um, I'm anticipating a heavier barbell. I don't necessarily know in what capacity that will be and some higher level gymnastics. So I think some kind of like muscle up or handstand of some sort this week would be my guess if I had to. You know what my guess is going to be? Sure. Since we're rowing, we since we're rowing on Thursday, you know it's it's gonna have a huge rowing component. It's gonna too. be significant rowing. Yeah. So Thursday that's that's Friday. my guess because right now you're two for two, so that would make you three for three. So. I hope not. Um, yeah. So I'm excited for that. We'll see what happens. Uh, a couple other things going on to help people with fixes with their body. You want to talk a little bit about active life, what active life is, yeah. what you did. Um, I think this is super important for people to know some of the background that you have mm -hmm. um, with this program. So active life is a pretty prevalent company in the CrossFit community. They um, were started by a group of chiropractors, well, one chiropractor um, and he was kind of looking at gyms and seeing how they were taking care of people with injuries and the either like have people pushing through things too uh, much and then putting themselves in a deeper hole or the opposite where they were resting uh, perhaps longer than they needed to or doctors or other body workers saying like just stop doing this thing um, and kind of understanding that the CrossFit community uh, doesn't necessarily take well to that. So his um, entire company business is all based around trying to take people who have uh, pain and not necessarily injuries or anything super significant that would obviously like, need a, a medical, medical professional like a doctor or chiropractor. Um, but someone that's got more like aches and pains that are just ongoing and kind of chronic. Um, and teaching them how to scale around those things. And then also what kind of movements we can do to 
kind of take a step back and then build the athlete back up uh, to be able to incorporate those movements back into their life. So I went through a seminar kind of learning all about how to do that. And um, I've incorporated some of the things into our programming. So a lot of the accessory work that you see here and there is geared towards those um, kind of common things that we see in CrossFit, common imbalances. And, um, but it's not necessarily as helpful if you are someone who's got really specific things to just do classes. Sometimes it takes that really individual approach um, to hone in on what your problem areas are. Uh, so long story short, uh, November 10th, I'm going to be doing a two hour long um, clinic essentially where we will go through a movement assessment as a group where we just look at your range of motions in certain planes and then relate it to uh, movements that we see in class. And when there are things that give you pain, we'll also talk about how to scale around those so that you don't feel like you have to just skip class when a movement shows up that you know causes you pain, you have a plan for how to scale around it. Um, it's limited to just 10 people. Um, so if you are planning on doing it, I would sign up sooner rather than later. Um, and again, this is geared towards people who have uh, pain on a somewhat regular basis. Um, so if you're someone who just feels pretty good all the time, you can give kind of a handle on um, you know, your recovery routine and just don't have nagging injuries, then it's maybe not necessarily for you. But if you're someone who's like constantly dealing with like some shoulder thing or some back or hip thing, um, and you look at workouts and decide whether or not you're going to come based on what's on the board, um, this is probably for you. Can you, so the flow of that session, it's going to be two hours long. Yep. Um, are you going to take, everyone's going to go through a movement assessment? Will they go yep. through that together or with you? Yeah, so we'll do it as like a big group. We'll kind of uh, probably pair people up um, and just make lots of notes about each of the different um, so movements like that we'll go paper, through. Maybe? Yeah, we'll have a sheet of paper, have them all printed out for you guys. Um, and that'll help me in the long run of also like keeping track of things. Um, and then we will, at the end of the day, well, towards the end of the day, second half of the seminar, we'll do a workout that incorporates movements that might cause some people pain. So um, like it might include a deadlift and then we would talk about, okay, if you're someone who has pain in deadlifts, how would you scale around that? But if it's a workout with deadlifts and pull-ups and you don't have pain in deadlifts, but you do with pull-ups, then we'll talk about, okay, how do I scale that workout for my specific needs? Um, and everyone will be a little bit different. So um, that's part of why I'm keeping it as a smaller seminar yep. so that we aren't overwhelmed by like 100 different bodies and scenarios. We just got those 10 to kind of talk through. And you may have some overlap, but there also be areas where some person has some limitations and another person doesn't. Perfect. Makes sense. Yeah, we can put the link. Well, we'll we will put the link of that in the uh, notes in the comments here, um, so everyone can have access to that. Get signed up, like she said, it's limited to ten people. Two hour intimate it's a Sunday. Yeah, intimate little session here with Coach Anna, which Love will be that great. Word. Um, what intimate? Yeah. Do you really like that? You make me... It just feels creepy a little bit. Oh. Okay, never mind. We're not going to have an intimate session. I don't know. You could call it intimate. There I guess. you go. Uh, exclusive. That sounds like twenty point three starts Thursday night. We'll see what that workout is. Any last uh, remarks towards twenty point two? How did you do? Um, I got twenty three rounds in twenty point two. No big and deal. And a little bit of extra. Yeah, no big it deal. It was really hard. I was very tired at the end. Um. Oh, I do know what I want to talk about. So last week, Peter was going to do the pacing mm -hmm. kind of discussion clinic end up um, having to leave town. Um, so he made some videos in place of doing an in-person uh, chat. So we're going to be looking at releasing those. Ideally, we'll release two videos this week and two next week. Um, so you'll be able to watch those. And then if you'd like, uh, leave comments yep. and things like questions. that if you do have further questions. But uh, I'm a firm believer in pacing. I had my entire workout written out my paces that I wanted to hit for 20.2. Um, and my judge was able to communicate with me where I was relative to those paces throughout the workout. So um, I'm a, 
I know that that's part of why I was able to do so well. I was able to um, know when I was ahead and when I could like stay with it and when I needed to push a little bit more to make sure I stayed on track. So pacing is really valuable. I, on the other hand, won the fastest round and finished the first round in 42 seconds. And yeah, that was faster than mine. Yep. And did not keep that. <laughs> So pacing is important. It's not all about the first round. It's always about the first round. Whoever wins the first round wins the workout. Depends on the workout. I'm just kidding. Maybe Grace. Yes, true, actually. Just one round. Um, all right, guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything of that nature, feel free to post here, and we'll get those answered throughout the week. Otherwise, we will see you next Monday. Good luck on 20.3. Again, we're rowing on Thursday, so they'll probably be rowing in 20.3. Hopefully how, not. That's how it's working. See you guys.